What up, Plaid Worthy? Whoa! It's a hot one tonight, isn't it? How you doing? How is everyone? You mean me? (laughs) (laughs) Ben Yon. I'm doing great. (laughs) I'm doing great. We got got Ben Yon uh, running things for us because uh, we had a slight problem with our production team. We had uh, three other people just quit on the job. Yeah. Uh, because of, I guess, how ridiculous this show is. They have been talked to. What? Um, They've been but this is only episode two. Yeah, I mean, we got to start somewhere. The, you know, I feel like a few months down the road, they're going to be begging to come back to this gig. Oh, yeah. And work Thank for you. no money. I mean, no, like, I know. money has already started flowing. Well, you know, I shouldn't, I'm not even going to get into that. But people love the show. <laughs> <laughs> What well, um, uh, why don't we talk about that that uh, photo just for a second? Is that from two thousand four, two thousand five, something like that? Uh, my brain is like a bowl of mush. Um, I but don't we, remember. My wife is great at remembering every single date I ever said anything. She's smart, and I remember nothing about the past. <laughs> I just, you know. I'm, well, you know what they say about the past. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, anyway, uh, so this week's Bal- welcome everyone, welcome attendees, and uh, this is Balto Review Episode Two, and we're going to introduce some new things in this episode. Uh, the first being a new segment that's going to uh, show weekly, or I guess we're doing this bi-weekly, bi-weekly, or uh, bi weekly for bi-weekly. now. Bi weekly. Yeah. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens. But uh, this is uh, text pics messages uh, because this is pre-smartphone days. This is flip phone music. Flip phone, plaid worthy, late, late, late at night would send me a uh, picture with a a vocal, you know, vocalization that played when the picture opened. We call them text pics messages. I don't know what the... And it's an, again, it's an art form that uh, can only be done on the flip phone. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't, it's not the same anymore. So anyway, uh, I saved these and I had this idea. It was around, I think it was for your birthday. It was a surprise. And Mm -hmm. I took all these uh, text pics messages that Plaidworthy had sent me and I put them all in one audio track and I invited musicians to improvise over top of the messages, but they didn't get to hear what other musicians improvise. They can only hear the message, right? And I think yeah, I had maybe like five. I know, um, let's see, Matt McDonald played trombone. Aaron Irwin played some clarinet. Terry McManus played some guitar. I think Jeff Davis played some drums. I played some sax and stuff. Anyway, I mashed it all together and made this essentially a long track made an album um, cover very tiny micro tracks right yeah it's like <laughs> uh, yeah it's like all these little messages but it made one audio track and the album is called uh what's the album called it's snowing and i look like i'm pooping <laughs> yes so you're gonna see uh tonight you're gonna see the very first message so can we can we play that clip <laughs> is that the end of that one that's it that's, that's the it first one yeah. that's the first and of one. course no musicians are playing on that track it's so just I, I me the solo first, the first one is dry yeah. you did see the album cover for a second but and i love that you 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 didn't simply use the pictures from the phone but you took a picture of the phone displaying the images because the phone is kind of important exactly yeah that it you know time wise did i bring that phone when i visited you so you could take all those pictures or did i take no. pictures that, of my phone with another phone no that's my phone those are the messages you sent to oh because it looks just like the phone i had so uh, i thought it was my phone 
Nope. My phone. I think I still had that phone in a drawer somewhere. I, I, I hope. I should have saved it. I miss it. We should go back to those phones. But the message is, that's probably the most normal, sane message, I would say. They yeah. get increasingly weird, uh, <laughs> as does the So stay music. tuned. Yeah, they're... Yeah, you know, there, there's some, it might get a little explicit at times, I think. There might be. Partial, yeah, I wouldn't do anything like that. There may be brief nudity, if I remember correctly, but the picture <laughs> is pretty obscured. Uh, but anyway, so you got that to look forward to. Each week, we're going to roll out one pixed text message from that series, Plaid Yes, Wings. I'm excited. Me too, man. Well. What else is going on? I think we're going to show a premiere a movie, right? Called The Poet. Yeah, do you want to give a little uh, precursor to how this came about? Yeah, so um, you, Ben Yond, uh, and I, uh, we got together. We took separate uh, uh, clips, and uh, ben, uh, ben Yond put them all together for us. We didn't know what the outcome would be. He uh, created the narrative for us. But it was our f the first movie we've made together in I think 25 years. So it's exciting. And we, we all went to junior high, high school together. Me yes. and Ben went to like from preschool together. Yeah. I think, I think we were both in Mrs. Thomas's preschool class. We can talk about that after the movie. You yeah. want to roll that clip? Let's get into it. I'm excited. Mr. Jim Chester dreams of becoming the world's first professional drummer. Mr. Roger Wheel is the world's first professional online drum professor. He's been hired by Mr. Jim Chester to perhaps do the impossible. Can he turn this born poet into a drum master? Will it happen or will things take a turn? Sometimes you wonder if this fight is worthwhile. The precious moments are all lost in the tide. Yeah, they're swept away, and nothing is what it seems. The feeling of belonging to your dreams. Listen to your heart when it's calling for you. Listen to your heart when there's nothing else you can do. Mr. Roger Wheel listened to his heart. Mr. Jim Chester listened to his heart. Ooh, did anyone else weep at the end? Every time I've seen it a, quite a few times, and it gets me every time at the end. Yeah, it's really powerful. I'm I'm very proud of it. I am too. Yes, for the first pro, uh, film project we we uh, we've done in 25 years, I, it's just quite astounding. <laughs> it was fun. I enjoyed that. I think we can only go up from there. 
exactly. and uh, that is going to be on our um, YouTube uh, site for Nitro future Field viewing uh, with uh, a couple other versions probably being there. So something to look forward to for everyone. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited uh, for everyone that they'll get to see a silent version yes. of this film because really everything is told visually. Uh, you yes. just add a subtitle for, um, you know, for, for the poetry. Um, and, you know, it. The, it tells the whole story. Yeah. It does. Yeah. And that was the, the intent at the beginning. Well, what was your approach to that uh, dialogue at the beginning? Did, did you did you have that in mind before you pitched us the idea for the movie, or was that an after viewing our performance? I can't even remember what we discussed, if anything, when you guys sent footage to me. Um, but thankfully, Jim read that uh, haiku, and you looked annoyed or frustrated at something you were watching maybe on television or something brian i don't know and I then was watching Pladworthy, uh okay trying to practice drums right 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 <laughs> well i i mean I, I i knew that he had the ambitions to be an an online drum master and i thought that you know it felt like this is something that you could teach him but i don't think that you felt that he it was material to be an an online drum master. No, no, I just didn't have it. And a born poet, is that what you would say for this character? Mm. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, it was ph uh, just phenomenal how you took that that uh, video footage and you uh, structured it uh, um, into that narrative. It was just raw footage you had to deal with. Sky's the limit for us. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Um, yeah. Well, we got a live performance coming, right? You're going to play something so. for us? Yeah. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me go get set up. Call, yeah. call the band. I'll be back. That sounds good. Right on. Um, so I'm excited about this. Um, I am too, Bed Young. Yeah. So uh, while he's getting set up, let's uh, go ahead and um, head into our uh, uh, sponsor clip and uh, write pay those the, bills. That's right. Okay, here we go. A uh, performance by Balto exclamation point. I like chewing chocolate candy bars.
Wish we could hear all the applause coming from the appreciate attendees that. right now. Appreciate that. Yeah. Hope that uh, came through all right. Some of them may be like throwing up a little bit in their mouth though. That balto has a certain effect on you. <laughs> it's like it gets down deep and just, I don't know. Groin scraper. That's, that's what I call the groin scraper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So you're controlling the um, the speed of the looper, like speeding it up, slowing it down. Is that uh, is that yeah. what's happening? Yeah, because like I can record my, you know, I can record myself and hit it just drops it like down an octave. So works out pretty cool. It's a fun fun little gadget. When'd you get it? When the, I've had it for a while. That's what I thought. Yeah. When made, you get it. I made, I made an album, actually, uh, all Looper Balto. Uh, it's called Two Cans of Soup. And you could buy it uh, on my website. Bal it's uh, Balto exclamation point dot bandcamp dot com. <laughs> we used to make uh, Instagram uh, uh, posts with the hashtag Two Cans of Soup. It refers to a mustache style, right? Yeah, it refers to when you have a full beard and you always shave the beard but leave the mustache, leave the mustache for like mustache, maybe yeah. an hour or maybe a day if you're feeling, you know. But every time I would do that, I would leave a mustache and, and send you a picture that said two cans of soup. Yep. But that's the name of the album, and it's all just Balto with Looper. I, and I believe my wife said it was the most annoying thing she's ever heard. Which is Success. saying a lot. Which is saying a lot for for about that. Because you guys have been married a long time. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got a a question here from uh, Sue Ann Nivens of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, Sue Ann asks, uh, can "Welcome we... back." Yeah. Welcome back to Sue Ann. She was Sue Ann. Nice. Yeah, she's wondering um, when the Balto candy bar will be available. Uh, we it's are, in the in, works. yeah, we're in talks. Yeah. I, I don't want to jump on the first offer, you know, a lot of legal obstacles. Yeah. Yeah. We got, got some hurdles to overcome, but we'll, we'll get there. 
soon, Sue Ann, soon. And when it does, you're getting the first bar. Promise. Oh, she'll appreciate that. Just send us in your uh, mailing address. Yeah, she's here every night. Um, and here we've got a, a message from Claudia Pretolin in Hollywood, California. She wonders if there will be Nitro Fieldhouse t-shirts available soon. Probably. Absolutely. I would say yes. probably, we hope. I'd like to. to see the t-shirts using that, uh, the logo that you created um, uh, that was the photo taken in Nitro of the house I grew up in. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that would yeah. be a cool t-shirt. Definitely. I would wear that t-shirt. Yeah. To bed, um, even. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, we've got one here from uh, Dave Ashley in Rancho Cucamonga. He's asking, is this a joke? Um, love Dave. I love Dave. That's a Welcome. difficult question to answer or query to respond to. I don't think it's a question. I think he's just making a statement. Oh, it did not have a, a question mark at the end of it. Yeah. So I think yeah, you're right. So probably. we can't respond to that. Sorry, Dave. Yeah. And uh, I think we got time for one more question. Uh, this one's from Augie in Murray, Utah. Augie asks, would anyone like some milk? I'd, well, I'd, love, I'd love some milk in the form of ice cream. I'm off dairy, so yeah. almond, I prefer almond milk or oat milk. I'm kind of getting into oat milk. Have you guys tried oat milk? No, is it Odie? Steve Odie? Have you tried almond milk? Yeah. Soy milk? Yeah. Which of those three, where do you, what, how do you rank them? Can you give me a top I, I three? haven't had uh, any one enough to really have an opinion on. Gut. Just go with your gut. Give me a top Almond. Three. Almond. Is number one? I guess. I don't drink that stuff. Let's start with number three. I like to go in reverse order so that we build up to number one. So let's do it again. Can you give me your number three milk? Well, what were the three options again? <laughs> Almond, oat, and what? So Soy. soy. So at soy would be third. Soy milk. Yeah. Okay. And number two. Oat. Oat milk. So that leaves only almond, almond. at number one. And yeah. you know what? I agree with you. Really? I, same order. Same order. It's probably been years since I've uh, drunk uh, any one of those, though. So I don't know if my opinion counts. It doesn't. <laughs> Well, that was we have any more show, queries guys. out there? That's it. I think that's all the stuff. All that's the queries? That's, that's, uh, that's the last of the queries. Short um, and sweet. Which um, means the last of the responses. Yeah. Well, I'd love to thank all the attendees for tuning in. Yes, thank and, you very uh, much. We'll for, be back uh, in a couple weeks. June 11th, episode three. Yes. Cool. Can't wait. All right. Well, uh, catch you. Uh, Catch you guys in a couple weeks and see everyone else on June 11th. All right. Take guys. care. Yeah. Hope to see you back here then. Stay safe. Right on. Good night. Mm -hmm.